I thought this was going to be a tough one with the Saquon injury and, of course, Andrew Thomas out. And the Giants hung. I feel like their red zone defense, to your point, was like in this thing for a while. But Christian McCaffrey is, <laughs> is something special. And I feel like Debo got the highlights. Debo did, but I gotta, we got to go through the Christian McCaffrey Good. experience. Uh, they, first of all, they've never lost a regular season game that Christian McCaffrey has started. Mm. Everyone talks about Purdy. Yeah. McCaffrey predates like Purdy. Like, they don't lose when he plays. That's amazing. Um, he's on pace right now. For 400 rushing yards, uh, sorry, this season already, 400 rushing yards. He's averaging six yards a carry. He's already got three rushing touchdowns. He's got 13 receptions. Seven, he's on pace this year for 2,400 total yards yep. and 17 touchdowns. <laughs> And I don't know. I see this guy. He won angry runs. Like, I might win it again. I know. It was like a sequel. It was like the he same He runs play. so yes. violent. You see him. He's this uh. like blonde haired, nice boy, good family. Like, hi, I'm Christian McCaffrey. And then he smacks you. And it's so symbolic of this Niners team. They come in. They're in this unit. Okay. And then they just beat you up. Uh, there was nothing graceful about last night. They just pounded the Giants. And it was one time after another after another. And that's their brand of football. And it comes from this, like, graceful magician in Sh Kyle Shanahan drawing mm -hmm. up all these creative plays. Mm -hmm. But then it's Kittle and Juszczyk, and then it's Elijah Mitchell, and then it's Debo for the finishing punch. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, I, I put him as my MVP before the season. Like, I was like, considered a crazy long shot. It might happen. Mm -hmm. If all these quarterbacks negate each mm -hmm. other, like, if he goes for 2,400 yards, I know we're two, three weeks in, and 17 touchdowns, we're talking about a running back who's an MVP, and he is the engine mm -hmm. that gets that thing going. You know what's going to hurt him in that? Like, if they keep having blowouts, they'll, he'll be out of the game. True. You know what I'm True. saying? Which is a champagne problem, but, yeah. like, yeah, he looks great. How fun would it be if at the end of the race the conversation is, like, Christian McCaffrey, Micah Parsons, and a quarterback? Like, just <laughs> to give it, like, a little martini <laughs> shaker, you know? No. <laughs> That'd be awesome, man. He was unbelievable early on in that game because every time he touched the ball, he broke at least two or yeah. three tackles on a run Averaging or a catch. Seven Seven yards a carry. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> like, like, what? what are we talking about? That's high about? school stats where you just hand the ball yeah. off yes. and no one can no one can tell. You're yes. obviously the best player on the field. But um, Christian McCaffrey, I, I, show me the highlights of Tyshawn Raekwon Samuel. Those are the <laughs> highlights that I want to see. Show me some Tyshawn. <laughs> Debo Samuel got his name from his dad because as a toddler, he liked taking things from people. Out there last night, he was taking ankles, taking hearts. This guy had 81 yards after the catch. He was doing his work once the ball hit his hands. And Debo Samuel was just so fun to watch because he is a running back when he has the ball in his hands. I felt bad for Hawkins right here, the young rookie, number 37. Yeah. Just oh. shakes him out of his cleats and keeps it going. It's like a locomotive. There's just people jumping on his back. And as soon as you think, all right, he just, he's a running back. He just breaks it. Then they just throw up a go ball to him on the sideline. And this one might have been my favorite play. An incomplete pass. Bobby O'Karake, a linebacker, he goes, goes to right. hit him and flips upside down because of how strong Debo Samuel is. It's unbelievable. And he looks back as if it was nothing. This dude, he works out. He lifts in the offseason, you can tell. And he's just, there's so many guys on their team. But Debo is fun to watch, man. I, I love it. It is. The whole game was fun to watch. Keep your eyes open, people. The machines are rising. Listen, okay. I, I got into this yesterday and half the table wanted to laugh. <laughs> Just wait. Peter agreed with me. I have a theory that Brock Purdy is artificial intelligence. He is a machine and the Niners are in on it. And I think Iowa State was in on it. And he's in on it. So people are like, oh, that can't be. Look, he's struggling in the first half. Guys, it's a very sophisticated intelligence. Like he has to let you know that he is human. If he has 158.3 every night, it's never going to be sold. So he comes out, he struggles a little bit, and then the second half, lights out. Lights out. And here's the thing. The Giants obviously don't believe because the Giants tried to blitz him all night. He has retaliatory technology, guys. When you launch at him, he does a counter launch. That's how the computers think. He doesn't lose. He doesn't blink. He doesn't sweat. He doesn't bleed. You know what he has done? The Niners have scored 30 points plus mm -hmm. in six straight games regular season. They never did that under Montana. They never did that under Young, but they're wow. doing it under Purdy. It's never happened in their venerable history. And I have to shout out to all the doubters and all the people who are just, I, I call them sheeple. I want to respect Kayvon Thibodeau of the New York Giants because he clearly has his eyes open and he is trying to let the people know, Kayvon Thibodeau, roll it. He's going to get a sack, okay? You guys tell me I'm crazy. He sacks him. All right, brought him down. Thibodeau yeah. knows. Watch. 
He goes, dun 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 dun. <laughs> Thibodeau has his eyes open. <laughs> he is screaming at the people that I just sacked a robot. Guys, it is so good. And Kayvon, I respect what you're doing. You're putting yourself out there. You might have lost some endorsements, but you gained my respect. Even in the post game, Brock Purdy shows up with a stock white T-shirt, a stock jacket. It is the clothes that computers think people wear. And he's he has a thing in his head where he like he has a, m many phrases he could choose from. And he goes, Brrr. it's just like we have to keep executing. And you can see the little gleam in his eye. He doesn't lose, guys. He's not a human being. He's not flesh and blood. I'm sticking by my theory. Come join me. Bot Purdy is here to stay. I'm telling you. The Alpha. Quick, we're doing what? Those, they're doing those highlights. And yes. I get so seriously. And you said, best team in the NFL. Yes. Cowboys beat those guys 40 to nothing. Okay. Giants, yes. same, 30 to 12 at home. Uh, not to get too serious, yes. but do you really think last night we were watching the best team in football? Well, the Cowboys just lost the guy who's going to have to cover Debo at Al. That just really hurt them. We're going to yeah. talk about it momentarily, yeah. but like the Cowboys' defense is the showstopper. They just lost one of their best players. Sure. So, yes, I do. Let's I see. love that Kayvon Thibodeau and the quarterback highlight. Robot. Um, the 49ers <laughs> look like they were flying around the field. Can we talk about the other fun moment? That George Kittle was like throwing himself a little party with the sky cam. <laughs> it's TV talk. What do you want to. Oh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, he won. Okay, hi. That was a scissors he threw at he you. Scissors. I thought he would be a rock guy. Really? Rock guy? Yeah, it's just such a caveman, no. you know, rock. Maybe he's just like uh, Fred Warner pool. and he just always goes scissors. Like Fred <laughs> Warner always throws tails. Uh, George Kittle, he's out there. And then like Jed York gave him like a big bear hug in the hallway after during an interview. Like yeah. they're just loving on each other. It's easy when you score 30 a game. But... He broke up a pass earlier in the game that was going to be intercepted. Yes. And then did the seatbelt celebration that every DB, DB in the league yes. does. And I was just like, this is the first quarter Pretty of the clever. game. Pretty clever. Had it in his head. Yeah. And it's early on in the game. They weren't controlling the game. Like this guy, mm -hmm. he's a football dude and he just loves having fun. Mm -hmm. So on you know, that cool. play, I gasped out loud because I thought it was going to get house for 85 yards well, was, going was, the other way. And I was Brock like, Purdy. it's going to be the answer. T bot oh, argument. Yeah, this whole outfit happens. is like NBA 2K before you get any of the money that you can go so and great. upgrade oh. your clothes. That's just what they give and you. People are like, he's not a robot. He got hurt in the playoffs. Did you find a little curious to how quickly he came back? Do you think that's a human being? Mm -hmm. Again, that's all part of the ruse to convince the humans. Like, just don't trust me. I know what I'm talking about.